That's right. No buts. Well done. So I know that there's, uh, when we talk about the different time periods as far as the Yugoslavic process, but also isn't there, um, you know, later in the time before we'll, for my little point of view, it's a, a desirable time to pray. Could you make other type of salat during, during that time? Bismillah. The question says, <clears throat> with regards to the times of Salat al-Asr, an undesirable time, <clears throat> according to those ulama who hold that view, even though Asr is still in, but Maghrib hasn't come in yet. Can you make other prayers or other types of prayers during that time period? The question or the answer is yes and no. And that is understood and us taking a knife and cutting voluntary prayers into two pieces. Two pieces. Cutting it like a loaf, like a, a roll, a baguette. Cut it in half, huh? Tayyip, it's one piece of bread, same contents, but now I've made what? Two pieces. So the main piece, the baguette, is a salah nafida, voluntary prayer. Extra prayer. Any prayer, no matter what that prayer is, as long as it is not fard. Clearness? As long as it isn't what? Fard. Fard prayer, according to most of the ulama, being only the what? Nothing else. Janaza, Eid, this, that, so and so on and so forth. Huh? Into your cup. If you can, I what I mean. I know it's hard, but you got to try. Tell you. So not all of them. It's not a jamaat. But this is, yeah, I mean, if you read, you'll find what many, if not most of them, hold the view with regards to the five daily prayers being the only prayers in Islam which are mandatory. And all other prayers besides them being nafal. On one level or another. Somebody has to make it, etc. Al-Muhim. The Prophet was asked, Hal alayya ghayruha? He says, Do I have to make other than those five? He says, La illa and tatawa. No, unless you want to do extra. So that includes the tahiyyatun masjid, etc. etc. So therefore, we have nafal prayer. And the nafal prayer, we've done what now, Abdul Khawi? We've done what? Cut them in half. So the first half is that which is called a naflul mutlaq. And then we have. That sabab or the wat al asbab or nafal al muqayyid bi sababin. So the first is voluntary prayer that has no reason, that has no special time, no special virtue, no special cause behind it. And the second is voluntary prayer which is based off of a no, a reason, a time, a virtue, a hadith. Make this prayer at night. Make this prayer in the daytime. Al-Ishraq, Al-Duha, Witr, according to most of the ulama, some ulama hold the Witr is mandatory. And which is a clear reason, virtue, excellence, superiority behind this type of what? Use the word that we use though. Nafal prayer. And from the Nafal prayer is making the two rakah, according to most of the ulama, not all of them. And it's incorrect to say this ijma is not ijma in this issue. With regards to making the two before you sit down, which is known as tahiyatul masjid. As Sanani rahimullah mentioned in Summa al-Salam, Ya'ani tahiyatul rabbil masjid. That's the real word. It's giving tahiyah, greetings to the Lord of the masjid. And not tahiyatul masjid, greeting the masjid. Al-Muhim, what's important, brothers and sisters, is that when you come into the masjid, before you sit down, the Prophet ﷺ has instructed you to do what? Make two rakah. Whatever those two rakah are. 99% of the ulama hold the view. 99.9. .9, they hold the view that those two rakah are only what? Recommended. Nafal. Recommended. Not mandatory. But you make those two rakahs whether you believe that they're mandatory or recommended for a what? A sabab. A reason, a specific reason. Clearness, you, I just want to pray to Allah. I'm at work, I'm stressed, I'm feeling good, whatever. I just want to make extra, I just want to pray. It's 2 p.m. Sun is not rising, sun is not setting, it's 2 p.m. I wish to make what? Two rakah, or eight rakahs, or two. I just want to pray. I feel like praying. 
I'm in the airport. I want to what? Pray. pray. I just have some extra time. I'm waiting for my flight. I want to pray. So the, 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 the prayer that you make in the airport, that, that nafal is restricted or absolute? Which of the two? Quickly. I need you guys' brains to be to move. Quick processing. Absolutely. It's absolute. Don't, don't give me no details. Answer the question. Restricted or absolute? absolute? It's what? Absolute. Meaning, breaking it down that it doesn't have a what? A reason. A reason. I want to pray. Period. There's no sunnah of wudu. There's no istikhara. There's no toba. I want to what? Pray. That is absolute. You making the two rakas before you sit down in the masjid is restricted or absolute? Restricted. This is one of the reasons why Jabir ibn Samar narrated and others, they narrated the Prophet certain things he didn't do when he went to the Musalla for the Eid. So many people, they make this mistake in America. They say, go to the masjid, don't make no prayers, sit down. It's a mistake. The Prophet he never made two rakas before the Eid because he never prayed the Eid where? In the masjid, it was outside. You sit down, there is no what? Tahir to masjid outside. But in the masjid, there's a what? Tahir to masjid. You understand this or not? Say how the fifth is all what? Broken down, huh? So therefore, making the eight rakaat that you just want to make in the airport right now is 7 p.m. Asa come, I mean, Maghrib comes in at 8 p.m. Can you make that absolute nafal prayer or not? No. No, you cannot. The Prophet said, don't make any prayer. There's no prayer after Asr until the sun what? <coughs> Sets. But you go into a masjid, not a musalla, an actual masjid, after Asr prayer. And you want to sit down to listen to a class, or you want to sit down to rest, or to drink some tea. You are allowed, according to the correct view, to do what? Even if you consider those two rakat to be what? Recommend it because these recommended rakats have a what? Reason. There you go. You understand how it works? And there's anything else. I need to make istikhara. There is a what? Reason. But the absolute nafal? No. After fajr, say what? Wait until 20 minutes after sun has risen. But I'll come into the masjid. I have a class. I will say it's a dars going on. And I pray in a different masjid. Before I sit down in that class and listen, I need to do what? Even if the sun is, but not the four rakat just to get closer to Allah. I understand this. This is uh, hopefully, yani, I believe, I hope that it's clear, and this can take you light years and your fiqh on a daily basis. Just having a basic breaking down and the categorization of the ulama with regards to the prayer. Hmm? Answer clear, inshallah, Taala. And yani, we normally don't answer questions like this because of time. But this is not the Q&A marathon, so yeah, I need the concept of these things help you when you're traveling. No one except a Muslim who prays and travels can evaluate and appreciate these things. How it can make a world of a difference in an argument at work, on a train, in a car, huh? by you knowing the proper fiqh and the proper breakdown of the what? Fiqh. How long have we been trying to teach and promote this now? Right here in this masjid. Long, very long time. Hmm? Hopefully the answer is clear, inshallah. Jazakumullah khairan, we'll stop here.